Hi everybody, today we're gonna talk about the 7 habits of highly effective people by Stephen Convey. I will give you 7 lessons to learn from this self-development book. This book can help you to succeed in life by identifying the habits that can help us in our journey. Let's start with the first lesson. The first lesson is to be proactive. Most of the people are reactive people. They believe that they can't change the things that are happening in the world. Common things they say are, there's nothing I can do or this is just the way I am. The reactive people see themselves as the victim of everything and everything is out of their control. These thoughts are the big problem and will not bring them forward. In order to be effective, you need to be proactive. Recognize that you have responsibility and work on the things you can do something about. You always have a choice and you always have the possibility to change the situation. You are in charge of your own life and this self-awareness can help you to be proactive. The second lesson is to begin with the end in mind. Confi says we can use our imagination to develop a vision of what we want to become and use this to decide what values will guide us. In everything you do, you have to start with a clear destination. By doing this, you can make sure that the steps you are taking are in the right direction. In these busy times, we are always busy with working, getting more recognition, fighting for promotion or our salary raise. However, you should take time to evaluate the meaning behind this busy life. Ask yourself if these are the things that really matter to you. This self-awareness will help you to shape your own life instead of living by default, based on the standards of the majority. The third lesson is to put first things first. In lesson 2 we've talked about creating a vision and decide which things are really important for you. By putting first things first, you can manage yourself effectively. You must have the discipline to prioritize your daily actions based on the things that you find important. You need to have a lot of willpower to stay on track because sometimes you have to do things that you don't want to. However, if you want to act according to your values and the things you find important, you sometimes have to do things that will eventually help you reaching your goals. The fourth lesson is to think win-win. Most of the people think in a win-lose situation. If I win, you lose. Only one person gets what he or she wants for the moment. However, this situation will affect the relationship between those two people in a negative way. That's why the best option is to create a win-win situation. This way you can create long-term, sustainable relationships that are beneficial and satisfying for both people. To get this win-win mindset, you have to develop an abundance mentality where you believe that there's plenty out there for everyone. This mindset can't survive in an environment of competition, so as an organization you need to create systems that will support this mindset. The fifth lesson is to seek to understand, then to be understood. And in order to seek to understand, you must learn to listen. You must try to deeply understand somebody through empathic listening. To be able to listen in an empathic way, you must change a fundamental mindset. Most people listen with the intent to reply and not to understand. So these people are either speaking or preparing to speak. This way you can't listen in an empathic way which is necessary to seek to understand. If you are able to listen in a way to really understand somebody, you've changed this crucial mindset which is a vital point to be a highly effective person. The sixth lesson is to synergize. Synergy means that 1 plus 1 equals 3 or more, and the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Synergy allows you to open new possibilities that are not possible alone. If you want to introduce synergy in a certain situation, you first have to implement lesson 4 and 5 into your life. You have to think win-win and seek first to understand. Synergy allows you to value the differences in other people as a way to expand your perspective and will also boost your creativity which will help you to find a solution that will be better for everyone. The last lesson is to sharpen the saw. This means you should take time to renew yourself in a physically, spiritually, mentally and emotionally way. 
to renew yourself in a physically way, you should get sufficient rest, exercise on a regular basis and eat healthy foods. To renew yourself in a spiritually way, you can try to meditate and reduce the stress in your life. The goal is to provide leadership to your life and reinforce your commitment. You can renew yourself in a mentally way by reading good literature, keeping a journal and writing down all your goals. Finally, you can renew yourself in an emotionally way by making contributions to meaningful projects and maintaining an abundance mentality. And that's it. These are the 7 habits of highly effective people. I hope you found all this information useful. If you're looking for more book summaries about personal finance, investing and self-development, check out my book summary playlist. If you liked this video, don't forget to smash the like button, comment down below and of course subscribe to the channel if you want more information about how to progress in life. See you next time.